welcome back to Noob to Master in Axure. Today's topic or recession's topic is how to use your designs and how to go from design to a prototype. There are three ways. Number one is to just design it in action. And as you can see, I'm here working for iPhone X. I can just use the libraries and build UI that way or use shapes. It all snaps well into a grid. Let's say this is my header for an app. This is my logo for an app. I'm gonna add an, a menu icon and just, you know, color it and work that way. Way number two is to use a plugin, which I created a video about uh, sometime before called Sketch to Axure plugin. Uh, if you Google it, you're gonna find it. It's, it's I think, one of an official plugins, uh, but it works. And just to show you how it is, let's say if I have a sketch, a um, couple of mockups, I can select one of them. I can go to plugins, Axure, P copy selection, and then it copies uh, things as they are without distorting it or without rasterizing. And then I can just, you know, work on top of that. And let's say, you know, if I group the elements, since by default they're grouped, I can just work on diff replacing the input fields of email. Let me just demonstrate. I'm gonna pick one of the text fields. I can basically just recreate bit by bit. And as you can see, I added one of the input fields. Would add one for password, then replace a button or made it interactive, so it's easy. And if I preview it, I automatically can just start entering things. As long as you add some styling to it, you modify it a little bit, you can kind of work with it. Now the third way, and what I find practically most convenient way, is to export different elements from Sketch, what I used to do, into an, like 2x images. Just to demonstrate how you can do that, is let's say this logo, I can just make it exportable in Sketch at 2x. And I'm just gonna drag it back in. I would literally drag and drop in into the page reduce the size and the only reason is because sometimes Axure tends to distort it. I would place it exactly where Sketch had it in the flat image and then prototype around it. I can then add interactions on click to do something. But as you can see, you can just export single images and then build prototype. Or you can use a plugin as mentioned before. So let's say I would still copy bit by bit plugin Axure and it's just because then it allows me to layer it right so let's see here i copied that shape and it's a shape which i can edit or change color and it also allows me to kind of go segment by segment so that i don't miss out something and it would be mostly present in let's say complex prototypes like these where you would need you know certain elements to behave certain way so for example the tabs are a perfect example because you need to make it switch and clickable so you would want to isolate that and copy it in separately than everything else as a good practice you would want in Axure to name your thing so let's say you could convert into master or dynamic panel so this is the basic workflow of how to take your design into a prototype and how to start prototyping with it now in next sessions i'm going to talk to you exactly how to do so let's say tabs buttons how do you do that how do you customize how do you make it advance so stay tuned uh, subscribe to this channel follow this playlist if this is too basic jump a few videos forward on this playlist and you're going to find much more material which is relevant to you so thanks a lot give it a like and see you next time